pitcher who's got his club in a rare and exciting situation. Heidi, can you offer some insight without violating any baseball taboos? Well, I don't want to jinx a masterful pitching performance by saying any kind of certain words out loud, but let me just draw your attention to the number in the opposing team's hit column. Here's a hint. The number looks like a bagel, maybe a donut. Is this performance going to go down in the record books, Matt? Thank you, Heidi. Bottom of the inning now, and here comes the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Always a tall task trying to rally back in the late Freddie. innings, but I think this game could still turn quickly. A leadoff runner on base right here could be huge to get something going. First offering. 0 and 1 the count. Anderson trying to get there. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. And he takes strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off-balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. And here's Ronald Acuna like Jr. now. Ronald As he'll look Acuna. at a fastball in there Junior. on the outer half. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. 1-1. One one. Ball Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Hazley will wait on it. Ball, ball. And that's out number two. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. First pitch of the A-B now. Fastball in there for a called strike. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly, it's been a treat to watch. The wind up and the 0 1. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. No runs, no hits, and one error on the Atlanta line score. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. He didn't get him to offer at that pitch right there, but that big 12 to 6 curveball is definitely part of the reason he's having such good success in this one. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Hey, get him Strike him out right now. Here's another one, too. Inside, ball one. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Here now the 2-2. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Braves are set down 1-2-3. Still down 3-0.
So here is Austin Riley. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. The third baseman, Austin Riley. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0 and 1. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Behind 0 and 2 now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses 1 and 2. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. The batter will be Christian Pache. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Hit hard towards center. Base hit, and the no hitter comes to an end here in inning number eight. Ah, uh, so these fans will not get to see history here after all, as the no hit bid ends right here with one out in the eighth. Matty V so close but yet so far you get into the eighth inning D row you get that first out and you're starting to think to yourself this might be the night I finish it off. That's what I was going to ask you do you wait until this long or does it start creeping in around the sixth inning. It starts creeping in right around the sixth. you look up that you see zeros on that scoreboard you know you're doing something special. Yeah and from an offensive standpoint you start letting it creep in right around that same time and you're telling yourself and the boys we have to find a way to get a knock. And they'll get back a run here as they're on the board. It's four to one. He was on cruise control the entire game, but he gets brought back to reality here. An RBI double gets them on the board. And now that they've broken the dam, we'll see if they can generate some more runs going forward. Travis Darno will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 16, Travis Darno. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is line to left. McCutcheon is going to get there as he backs up to put it away, and there are two gone now. So up steps Ozzy Albies. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question, and yes, he did, says the man in blue. Strike one. Hit in the air down the right field line. Harper gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. It's a run on two hits, one left. Ninth inning coming up. Philadelphia is on top, four to one. Scott Kingery will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. 